Hi everyone, today I'm here to show you how to make this cute little friendship bracelet bumblebee pattern. It's a one-two pattern, I believe. I'll explain what that means later, but first we're going to get started with the strings. First, you're going to need to decide what your base color is, and you're going to need five strings of this that are about your wingspan in length. Next, you are going to need two white strings, and they're going to be half your wingspan. And then you're going to need one string that is half your wingspan as well in the color of yellow. And then finally, you're going to need two black strings that are half your wingspan. And that's all the strings you need. So here I'm just showing you that I have five of my base color, two white, two black, and one yellow. And then you're going to take all of these and tie them in a knot. If you are not making this bracelet adjustable like I am, you're going to want a little more space above the knot so you can tie it to your wrist. Otherwise, you really don't need a lot if you're making it adjustable. Next, you're going to need some tape to tape down your bracelet. You could use duct tape, clear tape, whatever you want. You could even binder clip it. I prefer to use tape, so just tape that sucker down to your table or whatever surface you may be using. Next, I separated the strings five and five, and I'm twisting both sides to the left first, and then I will twist them together in the opposite direction to the right, and this just kind of gives it a little cord kind of look to it. You don't even have to do this if you don't want to. You could just start the bracelet right at the knot. This gives it a little more pizzazz, plus this is how you make an adjustable bracelet. I could make a video on that if you guys want. Um, but you're just going to twist them together to your desired length, and then you're going to tie that in the knot. And this just makes it so you don't have to make as much of the pattern if you don't want to. But again, I'm doing this for the purpose of making it adjustable for my friend. Next, I just put an extra piece of tape down to keep the bracelet sturdier and in place. You could do this if you want, or if you don't mind the moving around a little bit, you do you, you know? The next step is to sort out the strings according to the pattern. I will have the pattern linked down below, but I will also go through the proper order you should have your strings in. This is just me separating them. So your order should be from left to right, base color white, black, base color yellow, base color black, base color white, base color. And you kind of pair them off like I did here. So taking the first two strings on the left, you're going to do a forward backward knot and you're going to do a forward knot by making a four and pulling it through and pulling it all the way up making sure the base color is on top. And then we're going to take the base color again and do a backwards four, which is a backwards knot. And you're going to tie that too and put these two colors off to the side. Now taking the black and the base color, we are going to be doing two backward knots. So you're going to be making backward fours twice using the green. Move those two to the side and next we're going to be working with the yellow and the other base color and we're going to be doing two backwards knots again. Now taking the black and the other base color we're going to be doing two backwards knots again. Next, taking the last two strings, you're going to do a backwards forward knot, and that means you're going to do a backward knot first, and then you're going to do a forward knot, and you're going to leave the green string on the outside of the bracelet. Now we're going to move to the second row, so this is the whole one-two pattern. You're going to leave that string out of it. You're not even going to touch it for this whole row. So we are going to start off with the white and the base color, and you're going to do two backwards knots with this one. And I'm going to start speeding up telling you the process of how to make this bracelet because I've shown you how to do a backwards and a forwards knot. The whole rest of this row for the bracelet are all backwards knots, so I'm going to fast forward through all of this. Just make sure you do all backwards knots two times on each pair of strings, and you're going to leave the green string on the very end out of the bracelet just like you did with the first string. Moving on to the third row, we are going to be doing backwards knots for the first three pairs and you are going to incorporate that one string we left out again. Now taking the yellow and the white string, we are going to be doing two forward knots. And taking the last two strings in this row, we are going to be doing a backwards forwards knot, just like we did before. Moving on to row four, we are going to be leaving out that first string once again, and then for the next two pairs, you are going to be doing a backward forwards knot. 
Now taking the black and white string, we are going to be doing a forward backwards knot, which is just the reverse of what we've been doing. Now taking the yellow and the black, you are going to be doing a backwards forward knot, and that will be it for this row. Now moving on to row five for the first three pairs, we are going to be doing all forward knots. Now taking the white and yellow, we're going to be doing two backward knots. And then for the final two strings, you are going to be doing a backward forwards knot. Now on to row six, which marks the halfway point of this pattern. You are going to be doing all forward knots for every single pair, leaving out the first and last string. For row seven, you are first going to be doing a forwards backwards knot. And the next three pairs are all forward knots. And the last two strings will be a backward forward knot. Now on to row 8, we are going to be leaving out the first and last string once again, and all the other pairs are all forward knots. For row 9, you're going to start with a forward backwards knot, and then the second pair will be simply a backwards knot, and the rest of the pairs will all be forward knots. Moving on to row 10, you're going to leave out the first and last string, and for the first pair, you are going to be doing a forward backward knot, the second pair will be a backward forward knot, the third pair will be a forward backward knot, and the same with the last pair. For row 11, you are going to start off with a forward backward knot. The next pair will be a forward knot, and the last three pairs will all be backwards knots. Now for the final row, row 12, you are going to be doing all backward knots, and you're leaving out the first and the last string. As you can see, this bracelet does take a long time to get used to the pattern, to make sure you're doing all the right knots, and so it is a little time consuming, but you have to start from row 1 to 12, and you keep going back and forth until it's your desired length. That's why I would suggest maybe making this bracelet adjustable, because it does take so long to just complete one little section. So here's a completed section. It's not perfect, but you know, it's a friendship bracelet. I don't think they should be perfect. Mine have turned out a little wavy, which I don't know why. I think it looks cool. I like it better than it being straight, but that's what happens to mine. And I went ahead and finished the bracelet off camera. So I got to my desired length of the pattern that I wanted to do. And so I just took these two middle strings and I tied them together in two forward knots just to kind of make the bracelet end flatter and not on an angle. I then just tied all the strings in a knot to end the bracelet. And after that, I once again did the twist cord thing to make the bracelet adjustable and so I didn't have to make as much as the pattern. And then I just tied that off in another knot as well. You can also fold the bracelet over to try and measure the two cord sections to make sure they're around the same length. So here's my completed bracelet. You just chop off the end that I'm holding that you can still see the strings. I went ahead and made it adjustable off camera, but again, if you guys want a video on how to do that, just let me know. I could totally make a video. And here are the three that I've made so far. I think they've turned out actually pretty good. Again, they're not perfect, but that doesn't bother me. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!